Broadcasting from the Hyatt Regency in Seattle, Washington, Solutions Review is on location at the FME User Conference 2025, the peak of data and AI. Brought to you by Safe Software. We are back with Patrick Booth, Managing Director of BC Solutions. Yep. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Well, you're a partner uh, and a user. And user. Uh, and a academic. Academic, yeah, research, teacher. Um, so I, I get to see the, the pointy end of the use of the, the product and I the like tools it. and the different uh, enhancements, certainly in my my experience of uh, coming up 10 years now with the product. You've been using it for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So it was... Uh, How did you find it? Early days, I've, I've got to be honest, it was a steep learning curve. Well, uh, when did you find, or how did you find it? I, uh, was, you know. I was actually introduced to the product through one of my uh, doctorate supervisors, my PhD. Oh, okay. And uh, they said, you know, hey, we've, we've got this product that I think could be useful for the specific underground research that we were trying to do, feeding in lots of disparate uh, data sources, uh, some in 2D, some in 3D, some even back into the 1930s in terms of really? paper drilling records, yeah. And were uh, they accurate? Well, funny you say that because the tool actually allowed us to validate and verify some of those very early records that were, uh, in some cases, uh, hand-drawn. And yep. uh, there were a lot of uh, even presentations uh, over the last few days that you know, I look back now with the functionality that's available in the, the latest version uh, with some of the AI capability in particular. And I would have loved to <laughs> yeah. have had that. 10 years ago? Well, maybe not 10 years ago. I'm talking maybe five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Even five years ago, if we so had close. that capability, it would, would have, have saved a lot of time. knocked it out of the park. <laughs> really would have, yeah. And so when you uh, were introduced to it 10 years ago, uh, you said it was, is that what, that was your experience, a fairly steep learning curve very, initially? Very, very steep learning curve. And, that, and, and, and so does that give you a certain amount of, uh, I don't know, expertise, relevance, kind of uh, value add? In, in the specific area yeah. uh, of, our, of our use of the tools, uh, definitely, uh, because, you know, if you're not exposed to the tools, you, you don't even have an awareness of right. the capability and the functionality. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's what I see uh, in my travels and my, my conversations with a lot of my clients as well, that they just don't have the exposure to the tool. In, yep. in a lot of cases, they've never heard about it. Um, and yeah, it's fascinating getting, how it's kind yeah. of a sleeper, isn't it? Absolutely. Because yeah. when you come to an event like this, everybody is so in tune with the same, I don't know, vibe, culture. Yeah. I mean, it's a very positive yeah. energy. Correct. And, and, and yet, it's not a very well-known product. Product. Yeah, rel relative, because it, it obviously you know, hasn't got the the exposure of the Microsofts and the Googles and, and those other and tools. And I think primarily yeah. because it is it, it, it started out in a niche Absolutely. space. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're trying to expand it now. Yeah. Can I, you see it expanding out? I definitely can see it expanding. Yeah, and, yeah. and as uh, people, you know, as, as we lower that entry threshold and that burden and the, the learning curve with tools like AI, uh, embedded in the product, yep. it just makes that uh, you know early adoption so much easier for the product. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to uh, a young uh, user who it struck me that they had kind of cracked the code for staying relevant as a data scientist by having FME as their superpower. Absolutely, it's it's the Swiss Army knife. It's like, and, and that's one of the the great advantages of the product that I've always seen. And I'll I'll tell anyone, we we don't care what your data is coming from. We don't care what it has to go to. 
the tool is completely agnostic to those platforms. Okay. Yeah, that, and that's yeah. that's that's such a compelling story, and and you would expect it to be more broadly known because because ultimately Absolutely. that's one of the singular repeating stories we hear over and over again yeah. is is that any data anywhere anytime any form transformers and yeah. absolutely so that that advantage of not locking into a specific vendor as an end client or an end user is so valuable because if you're going to make the investment and put the time into you know, into the processes and development of, you know, particularly pipelines for data, you don't want to have yourself locked in to a particular vendor's product. Well, and, 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 and as know. I understand it, and again, another, uh, another visitor of, of ours uh, said, you know, honestly, truth be told, we got into it because the price point was within reach too. Absolutely. That the, yeah. the initial price point was reasonable yeah. for them to consider it. Yeah. And, and bringing uh, certainly in through the academic space with the grant program and the yeah. grant licenses. Well, that's a whole other thing. So explain yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so as, as part of the grant program that SAFE have had even since I started, I actually started with one of the grant licenses for, for the university um, and got to you know, know and understand the product. And certainly that's one of the advantages of so not if you qualify, feeling that you had to pay, right, to, to so, so generate that way. learning curve. If yeah. you qualify for a grant license, they basically give you access to the tool? Absolutely. For and, free. And it's the uh, form, as they call it now, but you, you get access to that for a period of at least 12 months. Yeah, yeah. And then give you the ability to refresh that if you want to continue your study or, in my case, continue the research with uh, with the product. So what was the first use case that you uh, Use case was actually converting uh, AutoCAD data, survey data for underground coal mining. Yep. Uh, and particularly in the gas safety uh, aspect where my research was on. But all of the survey plans are essentially in 2D. There was no regulatory or compliance requirement for those right. Uh, plans to be in 3D, but the advantage, particularly when it comes to uh, gas drainage and the horizontal directional drilling uh, that we do underground uh, for, for gas safety in advance of the mining, uh, the research showed absolutely we needed that third dimension context because we had to have a solid reference no matter where the coal seam was going we had to have a solid reference to do all of our calculations of what uh, gas risks and geological risks were actually going to be in advance of us. So the ability to use the FME product to take different sources of data, such as you know, old hand-drawn drilling records, uh, such as flat CSV files coming directly from the drilling machines, and incorporate and enhance the 2D survey data with that third dimension gave us so much additional context to be able to prove up some of the theories that our research actually came up with. And now have you subsequently extended your use to other clients, other? Uh, certainly there, there's uh, an aspect of that. Uh, unfortunately, I probably can't talk about some of the, uh, the, the commercial aspects of uh, in-confidence information sure. uh, of some of those, but uh, certainly uh, since, since the research has come out, there's certainly been a lot of interest across the sector uh, in the use of the, uh, the processes and the, you know, the, the outputs of the research in day-to-day -day operations for mine safety. So you've traveled a long way to get here? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about an hour south of Sydney in Australia on the, on the east coast. So. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. So yeah. uh, what do you get out of a show like this? I, I get to see the great you know, things that are coming down the road. I get to see how other people 
even in the last you know six to twelve months have you know really delivered those you know those applications of the product um, so to be able to see how other people are using the product from an end user perspective um, the ideas and the opportunities that are sort of you know buzzing around in my head I'm already thinking uh, as I was saying you know how could we improve perhaps in some cases what we've already done with that additional functionality that's coming in the product right now. Is there any particular announcements that got you more excited than others? I'm, I'm really excited about the data virtualization and the, the ability to serve this out as an API. Yeah, yeah. Um, because, I mean, as, as subject matter experts, we can prepare the data you know, for dissemination no matter what the end use is going to be, uh, but be confident that that uh, data is rock solid, uh, it's been verified, it's been validated, so that you know, if uh, a company decided to use that for regulatory or compliance purposes, you know, that required that information in the public domain, as, as many do, uh, that, that that data would be absolutely rock solid and serve through a secure environment. Yeah, no, it's an amazing. It's an amazing event. This is a. Uh, we've been to three of them now, uh, and it's a pretty consistent story that we hear over and over again from folks sitting in that chair around how much they value it, um, how much they like the company and the and the management yep. and uh, and the culture. Yeah. And this particular event. So uh, yeah. thanks very much for swinging by. I appreciate spending a little time with us. Yeah. No worries. Safe travels it. back. Yeah. And uh, best of luck with, uh, with all the projects you're working on. Yeah. Thanks very much. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.